Okay, so we've now logged back into our system by clicking up Setup Now. It takes you into this section. Install Microsoft Office Professional Plus. Um, if you're on Windows, it'll accept Windows XP with Service Pack 3. So if you're unsure of uh, what version you have, if you click Start, right click on My Computer, and you will see it here. Because it's on a home edition of Windows 7, but it'll tell you Windows XP Service Pack 3. That's what you're looking for as a minimum requirement with Windows. Of course, Windows 7 is, is all fine. Uh, okay, so we want to download the uh, software. So you can pick in your language, whichever is preferred by yourself. Although I would recommend English United States. Now you can pick 64-bit or 32-bit. Because there's a lot of applications that don't support 64-bit yet, always go with 32-bit and then just click install it'll ask you to run or save or we always like to save so we can access it shortly okay so that will only take a couple of seconds okay so it's now completed the download and if we just simply click run and then minimize the main screen just accept that Accept the terms, continue, and install now. I'll install the entire suite. Okay, so it's now finished uh, installing. And you'll see a section continue online. Um, however, we're not going to do that just at the minute because the server section where this would be applicable to isn't quite ready. So we're just concentrating on getting the email set up on your desktop. So we'll just click close on that. And then Microsoft Online Services Sign In Assistant required. So, this is just to verify that uh, you can install this. So, if you click Accept and Install, and if we just uh, wait a couple of seconds. Okay, so it's just asking you to verify you are who you say you are so that uh, it can authorize the system for you. So we just put in our details. Sign in. Should be a couple of seconds and it'll verify the subscription. It'll just go through the process and then your subscription from Microsoft Office has been verified and ready to use. So click close and I'm going to programs, click on Microsoft Office and see <clears> that you have access to everything, every Office uh, program. Of course, we just want Microsoft Outlook 2010. So move that to the desktop and to open it. So when it opens, you're going to go through the process to set your email up. So you click Next, and then you just leave that as Yes, and then we need to put in the details. So this is just whatever your name, display name, you want. So in my case, it's just testing. Find cloud, see account, email address, testing at cloud.com, our password, and next. Now it's going to connect to the server and search for our details. Once it's found the details, it's just going to synchronize the entire mailbox. So that's just a sign in, confirm, which one I shall do. And it's going to synchronize everything. So we just click finish. And OK again. So I'm just going to go through the, the profile and retrieve all the details that it needs to to configure the 
mailbox for the first time. We'll just uh, I'll protect, use recommended settings. OK. And confirm that we'll accept updates. Yes. I'll just delete that part as well. And these are just uh, updating on the tasks that we set earlier. If you've seen the other videos, you'll know what this one is. I'm just going to dismiss that. And as you can see, that's our testing folder. And that's it.